My name is Samil Janelle Elliston. I am in my fourth year of Honors Visual Arts at Brock University. Initially how my work began was about three years ago I decided to take on the commitment of growing and training my dreadlocks. In discovering my hair in an, on a new level, I decided to take on the task in my art to kind of capture what I was experiencing firsthand and also as a way to kind of educate people who aren't really familiar with the dreadlock style and are more aware of their preconceived notions. I started with a series of four paintings. Um, they're entitled New Growth and it's about four stages of my life where my hair had changed uh, significantly and influenced who I was as a person. Um, they range from my natural curly hair to my braided hair, straight hair, dreadlocked hair. Each painting is made out of uh, plaster, Paris, acrylic paint, and masonite, all save for the last one, dreadlocked, where um, there's actual clippings of my sister's dreadlocked hair uh, woven in between the plaster. The Afro pick was a very fun project that I was working on. Um, it was in a sculptural class back in my third year, and the idea was to take an object and blow it up to a life-size proportion, um, I guess almost in a Jeff Koons sort of way. Some of the shows I've been involved in were, for instance, the juried exhibition last year that Brock held. I was also in the Emerging Artist Exposé at the Hamilton Artist Inc. Um, this past summer. And most recently, I was featured in um, Nui Brock this past November. Um, all of my pieces were featured in the show um, under the exhibit name Dread Free Zone. Um, the idea here was kind of taking the word dread out of the word dreadlock and returning it back to just its natural uh, style, which is locked. Right now, my most recent body of work, I'll be focusing, um, taking a step back really, and talking about the experience of the black female body in visual and popular culture and how far we've come and how far we still have to go. My influences particularly right now are Renee Cox, Kara Walker, Faith Ringgold, who are all trying to work for the common goal and uh, trying to subvert everything that's been told or wrongfully taught about the female body. So what we have here is my latest project, uh, completed about three months ago. It's an untitled piece, and it's um, five different slides printed on acetate of um, dreadlock hair. The only difference is four of them are synthetic, while the, the one in the middle is actually of natural dreadlock hair. Um, I arranged the hair in a formation of an amoeba, kind of like a science slide and that was meant to kind of point to the biological side of dreadlocks and that you can't imitate it, you can't replicate it. There's only one kind of dreadlock and it's natural. <laughs> <laughs>